this is our new DSLR cinema plate. Uh, what's unique about this plate is that it can accommodate uh, all the different size DSLR cameras. Uh, the short body cameras, of course, like the 5D, as well as the tall body cameras like the 1D or the Nikon D3S. By uh, this plate dropping down, uh, that uh, maintains the rod height uh, for the matte box uh, to be uh, to be in the right position to be used on the lenses. Uh, so that's what that's one great feature about this plate. Uh, I've also included mounting points uh, for 15 millimeter rods. Uh, not only where these rods are the traditional position, but just below that uh, for grips and other lens supports and things like that. Because with the short lenses on these cameras, there's very there's not much room left anymore to, to add on other accessories. On the sides you have uh, the ability to build rods coming out for building cages um, and also for, uh, for going back to uh, shoulder braces or shoulder pads. Uh, and then, of course, in the back for when you're on the tripod, you can mount your battery packs and other uh, remotes and things like that. Uh, the other thing that this plate does for us is it gives us a mounting position for our Z Finder, uh, which uh, has been out for a while but now has been enhanced and has a few new options. I can get into that for a minute. But this plate supports the, the hard mount uh, for the Z Finder. In the past, we've had sticky mounts where we've been able to stick it to the LCD screen, which is still an option. Uh, but many people have also asked to be able to hard mount it. Of course, uh, these rods support follow focuses. Uh, this plate also has the quick release so that you can pop the camera off and leave your matte box and follow focus behind if you want to just grab your camera and do some shots. Uh, you have that quick release ability. Uh, the same thing also moves side to side to adjust for the matte box. What I don't have here is our Junior, which is a, a, a version of the Z Finder that uh, does not have the diopter for the entry level person that, uh, or people who have perfect eyes that don't need uh, the diopter control. So that's another option in, in the Z Finders. Um, what the Z Finder comes with when you buy it is a plate similar to this that can get you to a, a, a real lightweight support system. But what you're looking at here is an example of what we call the fast draw. Uh, it uses uh, the uh, DSLR base plate like I described earlier, but you can branch off to the side to a shoulder pad and counterweight. What you're seeing here is a, one of the tall bodied cameras adjusted for you know the proper lens height to the uh, matte box rods. What we're looking at here is uh, called the crossfire. And instead of going to a shoulder pad, uh, a lot of people just want another point of contact. It uses the same base plate system and the Z Finder and follow focus. This is the crossfire. Here's an example of the base plate being used as the foundation to build a cage around it. I don't have a name for this one as of yet. But uh, a lot of people, you know, like to operate the cameras with handles on the sides or in low mode, down low like so, and a place to mount a monitor, and we have extra battery power on the bottom. What you're looking at here is what we call the double barrel. It's our uh, most uh, elaborate package, if you want to call it that. Right now it's just sitting on a tripod, but it is set up for handheld use. Uh, all you would do is pop it off the tripod and slide on the counterweight on the back, and you have double grips. This happens to have a professional lens on it, the CP2 Zeiss lens, and you're ready to go.